the 20 MA is the single most important tool I have ever discovered in trading. Some basic information first, MAs, moving averages, don't forget, are directional guides and speed up technical analysis of trends. So the basic information is that the color of the moving averages should be consistent across multiple time frames. If you have, uh, if you let's say use more than one moving average, then you want to make sure that the the same moving average, I mean each moving average has the same color across multiple time frames, so you're not confused. The type of moving moving average really does not matter. A lot of people ask me, do you use exponential moving averages, weighted moving averages, or simple? I use simple because that's what most people use and I want to and my job is to read other traders psychology right the, the traders that are on the other side on the other side of the trade and so I want to see what they're seeing and that's why I use simple but regardless of which type you use it should be consistent on all time frames okay Moving averages are superior tools in uptrends and downtrends when the stock is uptrending in a stage two or downtrending in a stage four. In sideways trends, their importance is greatly minimized. We see Facebook here on the daily chart. You can see while it's uptrending, it would it stopped at the moving average, at the moving average, at the dipped a little bit below it, but went back up. When it's in a downtrend, beautiful. Same thing. Short at the 20, at the 20, at the 20 at or near the 20. When it's sideways, how does this moving average tell me where the stock is, go is gonna go next? How would it, it doesn't, right? It's going through price. So again, when the stock is going sideways, when the moving average is sideways, it's not very useful. It really, when stocks are about to transition up or down, the moving average will start to hug price and curl. That's your indication that the stock is about to transition into a stage two uptrend or a stage four downtrend. Here's what I mean. You have a stock that was in a stage one, sideways stage, moving average was going through price, no good. But this is why I keep the moving average on the chart, regardless of the stage the stock is in. Because right when it's about to break out, notice how the moving average halts, H-A-L-T-S halts the stock and it starts to point up a little bit curl and then bam the explosion so and it's not I didn't just pick this you can look at any chart you want and you, you just follow the trend and see when the see how the moving average gives you kind of the heads up right before right when the stock is about to break out notice again the curling and then as soon as it's halt while it's going through price you know the stock is not ready Again, while the moving average is going through price, then you know the stock is not ready. But when it, when it goes below it, then you know it's probably ready. Does that make sense? Notice here. And so while the stock while is going through the moving average, it's not useful. But this is why, again, I want to keep the moving average on the chart. is because it gives me the heads up that it's about ready to go when it starts to, when it halts price and starts to turn up a little bit and then pops, right? Same here, going through price, not very useful, but check it out here. The stock couldn't drop below it now, unlike before. Couldn't drop below it, now I'm gonna play a breakout. As soon as it breaks out, I'm gonna in, I'm gonna in, be in. Does that make sense? So, and that is known as transition A. Another pick, another example, that goes to show you how important it is. That's why I'm giving you all these examples. Notice here, stock halt or the moving average halted the stock from dropping below it. Then you know it's about ready to go. And more examples, right? The same happens when the stock is turning bearish. You get the uptrend, right? And let's pretend this is the moving average. And then the stock breaks the moving average, starts to go sideways. And then as soon as the moving average starts to curl and point down, then I know the stock is ready to go, ready to break down. And that is called transition C, uh, breakdown. Instead of transition A, breakout, this would be called transition C. All right. Um, the direction of the 20, a rising 20MA, represents positive market action or strength. 
a falling 20 MA represents negative market action or weakness. During a strong uptrend, retracements tend to halt near the rising 20 MA. That should give you a, a hint there. During a strong during a strong uptrend, retracements tend to halt near the rising 20 MA. That should tell you that the correct entry is almost always going to be at or near the rising 20 MA. When you're playing with the trend, the correct entry is almost always at or near the 20 MA. So this could be a pre-trade checklist, meaning if you're about to get into a trade, ask yourself, is, is the entry, am I entering at the rising 20? If you're playing long or at the declining 20, if you're playing short, if the answer is no, then you know you're about to make a mistake. Does that make sense? During strong downtrends, rallies tend to halt near the declining 20 MA. Following penetrations of the moving average, when the stock actually starts to break the moving average, pullbacks to the, to the now broken MA become very likely. Does that make sense? Let's take a look at some examples. MU, while, while the moving average is pointing up, buy every pullback to it. Don't buy it above, but just to it. Here, here, three. Once it broke, right? So off the 20, nice bounces. Once it broke, look what happened, sideways. And then you keep the moving average on and you look for that halt. You look for that, for the pattern to tighten up a little bit. And as soon as the stock starts to curl and point up, then you know it's probably ready to go. And the, the MU ended up going higher before obviously falling last month with the rest of the market. So we talked about the direction of the 20 MA. We talked about the trans how it's also used in transitions, transition A and C. We talked about some basic information, some basic guidelines and information about how the moving averages need to be consistent across multiple time frames, the color um, and the type of moving average that you use. Now we're going to talk about the slope of the 20 MA. The slope or angle of the 20 MA is indicative of the strength or weakness of the underlying stock. Okay, the slope is indicative of how, of, of how strong or weak the stock is. That's common sense. 45 degree, however, is ideal because it is when it's 45 degree, you're not you're not burning up too much demand, right? It's sustainable, and so 45 degrees ideal, steeper would be not sustainable. It means you're starting to accelerate. Shallower than 45 degree, it means it lacks the momentum. It's, it's maybe sideways, but it's not really trending. So 45 degree is the picture that you want to see. How can you tell it's 45 degree? It comes from the left side of the chart to the, the, lower, the lower left corner of the chart to the upper right corner of the chart. Okay, that's how you know it's 45 degree but you gotta be, pay attention a little bit. So this is 45 degree, right? But take a look. Ah, it's starting to speed up, isn't it? Not only that, but the stock, this stock was up, look at this guys, from 150. I mean, I don't know really when it started. Uh, uh, so I, I don't know where it came from exactly. I, I did take the picture this afternoon, but uh, I had to scroll back a little bit. So look at this, from 150, to now 250 non-stop. Look at the, the distance to the 20 also, that's extension. We're gonna talk about that next time, about how to, to use the moving average uh, for to measure extension, overbought or oversold. So when it starts to accelerate like this, then it becomes not sustainable, right? Not sustainable and you, should, you can actually look to play against the moving average. You can go against the trend. This is known as this is what we call a climactic cell setup, all right? And notice the drop, 50 bucks, just like that in four or five days, and maybe more. Now you might say, well, you showed me all these daily charts. What's up with that? What about the intraday charts? Of course, same thing applies. Here's a two minute chart. Same exact thing applies. If I see a nice downtrend, I'm gonna stock the, the stock short to play short right when it reaches the 20. So that's where I would look to get in it, short, 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 right by the 20. So the 20 is such a great tool. It baffles me when I see uh, educators or analysts bashing it. It means they don't know how to use it. I've made 
I don't I don't want to brag, but I, I've made half of the money because that I have over the years from just because of the moving average. It's such a helpful tool. I prefer that people don't use it because you know I don't want everybody using it. Okay, maybe it takes away from the effectiveness. So that's the entry. What I used to do is when I was learning how to trade is enter here or enter there or enter you know here whatever when the stock uh, as soon as the stock broke down why because I would feel safe I would feel like oh the stock just broke under the low today under support so let's short it I would short it and then shortly after getting in it would go back up and I'm now underwater I would get out of it falls again and I, I would reshort right here right under the low today and shortly after getting it when would go back up and then at the end of the day look at the chart and say how in the world did I lose money playing the stock short what am I an idiot I was shorting it and I lost money that doesn't make any sense and it does because I was entering at the wrong place I was entering here I was entering there not at the 20 MA if you enter at the 20 MA you're safe you're good does that make sense why was I entering here because that was the safe entry that was the that's when I would feel comfortable entering why would i feel comfortable entering there because it the stock just made new low on the day broke under support but let me ask you this does the market pay us to do what's comfortable what's easy what feels easy and comfortable to do no it doesn't if it did everybody would be a trader does that make sense you gotta step up and short the stock when people are actually done buying it not when they're already not when the stock is is already going you know dropping hard that would be a late entry does that make sense so the 20 ma also helps with the entries and we'll talk about that more later as i said when it starts to accelerate that's not 45 degree anymore that's more like 70 degree then it becomes not sustainable and that's when you can look to fade it to play against it okay to play short um, as when the stock goes climactic now the odds of a successful trade are significantly higher when playing in the direction of the of the 20 ma odds are significantly higher for the trade when you're when you play in the direction of the 20. but not all 20 ma's are created equal you want your 20 ma to be going from the bottom left corner of the chart to the upper right corner of the chart that's that's 45 degrees when playing long and vice versa when playing short you want the entry as I said to be at or near price not far away you want that the 20 MA to be you don't want the 20 MA to, to be crisscrossing price to be going through price you want it to be trending just below it or just above it and trending down if, if it's a short now when playing long the 200 ma but that's a different story where i did a video on the 200 ma this video is on the 20. when playing long you also want the 200 to be below price not above it okay that's indicative that the stock is strong across multiple time frames that it is not just strong on the shorter time frames on the time frame that you're looking at but it's also strong on the larger time frames as well when the when the 20 and price are both above the 200 period moving average as i said the correct entry is almost always uh, near the 20 ma and um, however we don't enter because price is near the 20 we have to have a tradable pattern so we look for a tradable pattern in the right location in the right spot we, and where's the right location at or near the 20. so again we don't enter because price is near the 20 we must have a tradable pattern there and then we can enter additional uses for the 20 the 20 can be used can also be used to expedite the scanning process i can go when i'm scanning i can go three charts per second three four five three three or four charts per second when i'm scanning on tc2000 uh, simply because i'm using the 20 and it, it helps me a great deal Determine if the stock's extension, if it's overbought, oversold. Locate support and resistance. Support and resistance often coincides with the location of the 20 MA. Determine if there is price divergence. Uh, I talked about that today in the 
in the session in the strategic with the in the strategic swing trader session that we had today uh, how to determine price divergence using the moving average it also is helpful in anticipating where reversals might occur okay it is helpful in anticipating when there might be a rise in volatility. A lot of people look at moving averages, uh, moving average crossovers, uh, when the, the shorter moving average crosses over the larger moving average. They think that's a signal. No, it's not a signal to go long or short. It's a signal that there is going to be a rise in volatility. Now, what tells us whether, whether to play long or, or short is the trend and the pattern. But that's a signal when you get the moving average crossover. That's a signal that there's going to be a rise in volatility. Uh, it helps with calculating the reward to risk because you can use it to calculate targets. And it is also helpful when determining relative strength, relative weakness. When you're comparing the stock to the market or the stock to its sector, uh, let, let's say a stock that's above the 20, would above a rising 20 would have would would be more would be stronger than a stock that is below the 20 does that make sense or a stock that has a rising 20 versus a stock that has a flat 20 which one would have the relative strength obviously the one with the rising 20 do you want to get rich quick stock trading scheme well then look elsewhere want unsexy but proven tips from a professional trader well then I'm your guy I'm sharing these trading methods for free in my ebook, Unsexy Trend Analysis Secrets that generate beautiful profits. This book is focused entirely on the same trading strategies that I use and refine every single trading day. Now, I'm not promising that these methods will make you an overnight millionaire, of course, but they are the foundational skills behind my many years of success and have benefited the countless students that I've shared them with. I can't wait to share my methods with you and I know I will be hearing from you soon. Hit that link now.